Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 100 Baby Challenge Part 28. And in the last part, um, I think Naomi got pregnant. But in this episode, oh yeah, and Sansa aged up. Sansa, and I think we might have had Samoa. I still cannot get over that name. But Sansa is an adult, um, because she was an A student. Her twin brother Silas, however, is not, and they didn't go to school today for whatever reason. But I think we're aging up Bella this episode. Because she's an A student. So I'm just going to start, like, I have, n like, if I see that they have gotten the honor roll thing, I will age them up. But if they have A's and I'm really just unsure, I'm just going to age them up. But Sansa's leaving. But this is her cute little outfit. I made Sansa over. She looks so cute. It's so sad that she's going to die. I really, I think she, I think she, out of, like, the girls, I think she's the prettiest one we have so far. Like, so we're just going to, like check her out. I think this is her formal wear because she's insane. Yeah. Sansa's insane. In case you weren't aware. Um, so she's not necessarily gonna be seen around much because she's gonna be killed. Euthanized. But, like, look how pretty she is. Like, it bothers me. Like, ugh. She's so pretty. Okay, but we're gonna go, we're gonna look at her everyday outfit, because this might be the only chance we get to see it. So, everyday. So, Sansa, I really like this outfit. I think it's really cute and really casual, even though we're never gonna see it, because she's gonna die. But, like, cute. No, not that. Cute. But here it is. Like, it's real cute. Real cute, real cute. I love it. I think it's really casual. She still has the same hair from when she was a teenager. So Sansa, she is a cancer. She likes French music, hot dogs, and the color blue. And she is insane, good, artistic, heavy sleeper, and equestrian. And out of her five traits, we had four of them. So, um, the only one we didn't get was artistic. So, yeah. But she's leaving. So, so sad. Um... But I'm going to have her go do that now because she's insane. Um, we'll keep her books that she's written. Yeah, we'll keep them. Um, but we'll just, I want to, um, I'm just going to move them in Naomi's inventory before. Because she wrote AG263 and Orin Geese, so. And she's a level 7 in writing. Like, she could have done something with her life if this was not the New World Order and she could get access to the proper, I guess, medication and therapy that she would need as a person with whatever mental health things that she has. So, move. No. Is that true? How do I leave? I did this with the kid, with the other kids. I think it's move within this neighborhood. We'll probably move to a new town, like, once Sunlit Tide starts to lag. Like, and I, I think I can, I can do that. But, okay, we have, okay, I'm sorry. Oh my god, the kids, hold on, uh, we'll go, we'll go look at their house. They live, like, across the street from the Cahales, the four that we kicked out. They are living good. They are wealthy. Like, they upgraded. So, oh, I'm gonna miss Sansa. I'm probably going to end up moving her into the, 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 that household or something and I'll kill her. I'll probably, I'll switch households or something. I'll, she'll, she'll die. She'll end up dead. So. I'll probably actually probably invite her over in between episodes and kill her off. But like, let's go see where the other four kids live. They live, where are the kills? They live over here, I think. They live right here. Yeah, the Webbers. They live right here in this mansion. They live in this mansion. The four. Like, it bothers me. I can't lie. Like, they are wealthy. They are wealthy. Okay, but like, Ganala Sansa's crap. Um, oh, this is pretty. But is, is this changed to kids? It is. And are you... Are you pregnant? Or are you about to be? It's a status? Relationship? Yes, with Ricardo Gregario's kid. I remember that. So. 
whose phone was ringing? Oh yeah, and Bella's going to collect um some stuff, and then we'll age her up later. So you, Silent Declan, Declan, I want you to feed her, and then what is this? I I don't know. Okay, and you. Can you affection? Let her sniff your hand because you seem to be the horse person now. For whatever reason. And then what's wrong with you? Oh, I think she's getting her social up. Yeah, because her social was bad. And then you start making the beds. And then after you're done with that, you can come home. So, is she good? Kinda. Um. Why don't you potty train Samoa like three or four times just to get this out of the way and then we'll put her down for like a nap. And then you, you are hungry, so no, you're not eating waffles. This is not like episode two. This is <gasps> make pumpkin pie. Oh my God. Like we ran out of pumpkin pie. That's so sad. Um, you can clean all this up. <laughs> but Naomi got to writing level 6. At some point, like, when she's, like, an elder, I want her to write, like, her biography or something. Like, when we've already got our heir picked out. Here's my thing about the heir. I want to, like, move out as many children as possible so we could have, like, triplets or twins or quads even. And I want, I want options. <laughs> I want options. So if I have multiples, I want to be able, I'm going to choose which one I think is best. Okay. Okay. We get it, Naomi. Life is hard. If you're done with that. No, don't clean that up. Continue cooking. Oh, that's so gross. Are you? How do I unsaddle the horse? Like, I just don't know how. Um, get on the horse. I don't know how to, like, unsaddle the horse. Like, I don't know how. Okay, now... Saddle? No. No. Um, dismount. Because, like, she has this moodlet, and it's super annoying. And I don't know how to take the saddle off. Oh, did I do it? I did it. Okay. Great. Okay, so her saddle is off. And she is also pregnant, so, you know. That's our lives. What do you want to do? Eat a cheesesteak? No. Naomi, we have decided. You will eat nothing but pumpkin pie for the rest of your life because that is your favorite food. That's the entire reason I learned how to make it. She got to level six in cooking. Good for her. Okay, so eat some pumpkin pie. And then we'll have you go to sleep. Okay, you. Um. Potty train her again, because I don't know how long this is necessarily going to take. Bella, are you almost home? Yeah, I think as soon as Bella gets home, we'll age her up. Because I'm really excited to see... I think out of the ones we have now, Silas and Bella are my favorite. Because Bella's evil. I don't know, she's different. She's not blonde. She's not a platinum blonde. Oh my god. All of our children look the same. Literally, Sansa and Kellen and, um... Sansa and Kellen and... Bella are the only ones that look any different. They all look the same. Um, what do you want? Oh, yeah, sure. Whatever. Um, does it pop the things up? Yes, it does. So, excuse me? Can I not? Um, how do I do this? Um, okay, I'm gonna actually say no. 
but how? Because like with Bella, like her like thing popped up. What do you need? Actually, stop. Don't go home. Go get this iron, and then that'll be it. Get the iron, and then you can come home. So Samoa is potty trained. Somebody, i.e. you. No, actually, you can do it. You put Samoa in the crib. And then, what is so wrong with you? Mop up the puddle. Mop up the puddle. Samoa's fine. Okay, so after that. So. Okay, we have got Samoa handled. <laughs> kind of. I love. Oh my god. She crawled around him with, like, her head tilted. That was creepy. Okay, you can go to bed. You can go to bed, actually. And you can stop. Like, you need to do something with your life. So, actually, you can clean up all the food. <laughs> like, Arya and Julieta, they're kind of interchangeable. They both kind of look the same. They don't really have personalities yet. Except Julieta's insane. <laughs> Unfortunate, but you know. I'm not as attached as I was to Sansa. Okay, so after you do that, you can scrap this, and then are you, you can go clean our all-in-one bathroom. Bella's curfew is in effect. Well, Bella should hurry home. Oh my god. Whatever. So what? Bella comes home with the police. I don't care. She's evil. Like, what do you think? Why didn't she take a taxi? Okay, you. Like, I wish the Sims would actually, I don't know, take care of themselves. <laughs> Eat leftover waffles. Does anybody have a cooking skill? <laughs> no one. No one except Naomi. No one except Naomi. Because Eloise had a cooking skill, but she's gone. <laughs> no. I hate when they ask for bedtime stories. Just go to sleep like a regular person. I have no idea which bed is yours. Aria. Julieta, we have empty beds though, so you sleep here. No, um, sleep here. We we really do have empty beds. Um, get some food, and then you can go to sleep. Yeah, we have empty beds, and you can go to sleep. We'll just fill them as the time goes on. Like we'll fill we'll fill the beds when we need to. We're not making it a whole big thing. So I think in the morning we actually might age up. Actually, no, we'll age up Bella now. We'll age up Bella, like we'll strut her into the kitchen and then she can age up and go to sleep. Bella's so cute. Like I like her outfit. I think this top works better on Bella than it did on than it does on Arya. I think it does. But I really don't like that her favorite color is orange. And um she has red hair. I just I don't know. I don't think that's the greatest color scheme. <laughs> okay, just picture. And then we'll age Bella up. So testing sheets enabled true. I did that fast. So, trigger age transition. And then we will be ready to, I will be ready to write it down. Let's hurry this along. And then she'll go turn in the item store. So, because of her success in school, we might choose a trait. So, Bella is evil, a genius, which we both got to pick. And oh, insane! Why don't I have absent-minded written down? I have no idea, but insane. Insane. Great. 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 Insane. Whatever. Who's absent-minded then? Why did I write... Who got absent... Who's absent-minded? Nobody's absent-minded. I just wrote that down because I could. Was Bella absent-minded? 
have absent minded written down under Bella. <laughs> okay, whatever. She's insane. I'm like that honestly upsets me. Like, why is everybody insane? Ugh. I'm upset. I'm upset. I like Bella. Oh god, we are just not doing well with these kids. Like, they're all crazy. We have three insane daughters. We had Sansa, Bella, and Julietta. Like, they're all insane. That's so upset. Like, I don't, like, I don't know how else to explain how upset I am. That is upsetting. Oh my god. Go away. Leisure day is approaching. Well, I don't really care. Because all of my children are insane. They're all insane. They're literally insane. Literally, like, three of them. And we've had 11, and they're, three of them are insane. That bothers me. Oh, Naomi's pregnant. Congratulations. Go back to sleep. Congrats. See Bella get on the honor roll. Um, see Samoa age up well. Um... Seems more likely than guitar. I don't care. I don't care. Bella's insane. This has stopped me from caring. Um, actually, Naomi. Go, um, feed her. Great. Whatever. I'm upset. Don't talk to me. I'm upset. It's fine. I'm on... I'm genuinely upset. Like... <laughs> Every time I like, I loved, I loved Sansa. She's insane. I love Bella. She's insane. Why is that pretty insane? Like, am I just getting bad luck with these randomizing thingies? Oh, she wants a girl? Well, that seems really likely because we've already had like 30. Like, we have had four boys. We have had four boys and like seven girls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we could, in a perfect world, in a perfect world, Silas would age up and leave before, and we'd get twins. Or triplets, possibly, because we keep having this glitch, and it's so unfortunate. Okay, okay. Okay, put her back. Put her back. Put her back. Shut up. And then, no, don't go, don't relax. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. I get it. We're all unhappy. Everybody's unhappy. It sucks. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care that everybody's unhappy. I really don't. Because my favorite of the children that are still here, other than Silas, like, is insane. She's going to end up dead. I'm upset. Like, everybody... Whatever. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I'm upset. All of my children are gonna end up dead. Maybe we can... Is there a way to change traits? Like, can I get a roll? Like, is there, like, an item? I would save Bella. Like, if I could, I would. Um, actually... We're not going on a date with Ricardo. Well... These are achievable goals. Okay, what is what is this? What can I get with these lifetime rewards? What is the biggest thing I can get? Map of the stars, hoverbed, long distance friend, carefree, no artisan, life crisis. Oh, pick new traits. Hmm. <laughs> so if we get, <laughs> we're not gonna get Bella twenty five thousand. I can guarantee you that. We're not gonna be gonna get Bella twenty five thousand by the time she's an adult. I'm so upset, but like that that could be a goal. So actually, when you get up, you can clean and then continue to work on this, and then you can make more pumpkin pie. Just move these. Okay, let's fast forward. Okay, people are starting to wake up. That's good. I'm so upset. Like, I don't... I'm upset. I loved Bella. She was my favorite. 
So after you get food, go turn in these items to the science thingy. Maybe they'll spare her. <laughs> because she's smart. That could be like a plot line. Like, because she's so, like, she's kind of like Eloise, but like, she's, but like, not in like, but she's like, she'd be like the science department. I could see that, because Sansa was creative. Like, that wasn't going to benefit the New World Order at all. Or Bella, are she and, she and Eloise are friends. So I feel like if we could up our relationship with Eloise before Bella, and plus, like, she's, like, been, she's been this promising student. If we can up our relationship with Eloise and keep doing these opportunities for the science thing, I think that they would, that we could possibly, I don't know, can I change Sansa's traits? I feel like that could be a plot line. Just a thought. Just a thought. Because I don't, like, I don't think they would have saved, um, what's her face? Sansa? As much as I liked Sansa. Um... Answer the phone. Okay, everybody go to school. You can eat when you get there. Yeah. Everybody just go to school. Okay. Wake up. No, leave me alone. Get away from me. Okay. So. Clean up. This is just gonna be like a a day. Um, can everybody get on the school bus? Are they all? Um, so I want you to work hard. 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 I want everybody to work hard because I want them out of here. <laughs> I want them out of here. I kinda wanna already be on to generation two, to be honest. But you know, that doesn't seem realistic. And then you can get the mail. Actually, no. We'll paint later. Yes. We'll do all of our little chore things. Are you... Uh, we need to let her out. So... Let Samoa out. And then we'll... Get the mail. And then clean up all the dishes. So... We're going to honestly fast forward through this. Arya just went to her first day of school. Good for her. <sighs> Why is our... Well, all of our children are insane. Like, it's sad. I'm upset. Everybody's insane. And let's be honest. Sansa's probably, probably being euthanized as we speak in the storyline in this storyline, because nobody, nobody, like, every, everybody just assumes that Sansa's going to, like, do her, what, do her thing or whatever, be a vessel or something, because I think we've all just ignored the fact that she's kind of crazy, <laughs> because she is our child, but can I open your inventory? No, I, I don't know if I can give you or give me all the whatever. So can I do anything with this? No. So I'm keeping my diamond. <laughs> like I just am. So actually listen to the tabcast. Let's listen to a writing tabcast. Because I want her to get that up. Improve our writing skill. Yes. See? They're giving her little tasks. Like they did with um, Eloise. I think they recognize that she's very smart. They recognize that Bella is a very, very, very smart person, and she's willing to do, like, I guess, science stuff. <laughs> My heart. Hey, there's a letter for Naomi from Tate Dunham. It says, I know this might surprise you, but I'm crazy about you. I think we should get together and see what happens. My heart. I don't care about Suzuki. I don't care about Alonzo. Hector Hoffman. Kai Kale. Oh, uh, Brett Parker. And another one from Tate. <laughs> Why didn't you just stab me through the heart? Why didn't you just stab me through the heart? That is my 100 baby OTP. Tate and Naomi. Like, it should have happened. Like, ugh. 
if only the whatever virus this is didn't break out and like destroy the world. Okay, but actually, that is going to be all for now. Because, oh my god, this is so cute. I love her. I love Samoa. But that is going to be all for now. And in the next episode, we will... I don't even know if Bella will have a makeover, because I kind of want to just pick up where we left off, to be honest. So that is going to be all for now. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!